that historically served the Filipino community as a church in so many years. I'd like to personally welcome Raquel Rodin Diaz, the Executive Director of Soma Filipinas, Matt Haney, San Francisco Supervisor of the District in which Soma Filipinas is housed, San Francisco City Attorney David Chu, built this organization these past 41 years. Especially founding members Ernie Lorente, whose sister got married in this church when it was a church. Rodel Rodis, Bill Tamayo, and Judge Ronald Kimche, who are all here tonight. And I want to say a special thank you to principal founder Raymond El Ocampo Jr. It's been two and a half years since we've come together like this. Specifically, it was June 2019 at F Bank's 39th gala under Mark Kulopo's leadership, who is here tonight as well. And there's so much to commemorate since then. During the most pressing of times, F Bank stepped up to serve the community in a way unlike any other bar association. I remember Mark calling me during the last quarter of his presidency, around two or three days after the shelter in place order took place in San Francisco. He understood and had the foresight to see how deeply affected our community would be by the innumerable business shutdowns during the pandemic. I immediately called Winnie Gao at the Asian Law Caucus, and in two weeks, F-Bank and the caucus had one of the first virtual legal clinics up and running to help uh, with unemployment assistance. Nearly 80 of you, many of you who are in this room tonight, volunteered for the clinic, and we were open every day for the two months from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Because I'm sorry, Mark, EDD wasn't open during that time. <laughs> we received over 500 and serve nearly 140 direct clients. I, I think that deserves a, an applause right there. So, <laughs> thanks to Mark and the F Bank 39 board and our F Bank membership, who stood true to, the, to that year's theme, which is committee, committed to community. It's also a cocktail for this evening. <laughs> now, 2020 marked F-Bank's 40th anniversary. 2020 also was the most trying of times to many, if not all of us. And there is no one, absolutely no one, who could have led F-Bank better than my co-host for the evening, immediate past president, Mari Vandomo Colato. <laughs> our legacy by recording the oral histories of our founders and past presidents. She helped F Bank respond to escalating challenges during that year. We organized iterations of the unemployment clinic that included a response to anti-Asian hate, organized a panel including then assembly member David Chu, now their city attorney. <laughs> as well as brought together law students who had been going through law school in isolation through our award-winning Comunidad Conference that was, that all started thanks to President-elect Ray Rowland. <laughs> Mari raised the visibility of F-Bank's presence and hard work, so much so that Napava bestowed to us the prestigious Affiliates of the Year Award in 2020. And you can see that award next to the doorstep right there. Since we were unable to gather at a gala to do this, I invite Mari up to the stage to receive expressions of her gratitude. Mari, an icon, this 
school. She works tirelessly for this organization and advocates for her community and clients. A true leader, an inspiration, funny, kind, encouraging, and always willing to help. Our rock, a bold and wonderful leader, handled the responsibility of five to ten board members, which is very, very true. Superwoman, and a true definition of Panay Powerhouse. And last but not least, you are a fan. Mari, I'd like to present to you a frame piece displaying each of these words to remind you of how much we value what you've done for this organization. And this, as you can see, is the one award gift that we have tomorrow. We have a second one. And my Panay Powerhouse founders are late, so we are presenting this here now. Uh, but I just want to let people know that Mari has spent eight years on this board. And when she did so, she empowered our Panay membership like no other. That includes starting the Women's Committee, starting the Eleanor Nisperos Scholarship. Eleanor Nisperos is our first ethnic president. And she also helped start the Women's Tea Party at Advisory Board members Ruthie Ashley's home. And last but not least, she was a Panay Powerhouse founder along with me, visionary founder Christine Stark, and past presidents Lorna Garcia de Guzman and Vanessa Candelaria. And Christine commissioned an art piece um, that is symbolic of what the Panay Powerhouse means. And we are presenting that to you here and now. Um, and this was inspired by all five of us. And uh, we would like to give this to you today. And for everybody interested in this beautiful art piece, we're selling this to at the F-Bank shop starting next. Uh, so I will now turn it over to Mari um, with a sincere thanks for leading us in one of the hardest, hardest years F-Bank has ever endured. So thank you, Mari, and congratulations. <laughs>